Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's crack it. And today I am back with a new video which is about the Accenture English ability questions. So in this video, I'm going to uh, let you know all the solutions of the English ability questions which were asked in Accenture exam, recent exam. So without any delay, let's start our video. Before that, uh, guys, if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. Yeah. And the very first question is here guys. So before that completely there are 17 questions will be asked in the Accenture English or English ability. So out of the 17, three are paragraph questions. So a paragraph will be given and under that three questions will be asked. So I'm skipping this paragraph. So out now we are going to answer on 14 questions in this video. Okay, now we are cl I'm clear with that. And now coming to the coming back to the question, I know you are tired and so I dash I arrangements for you to stay in the guest house tonight. So you need to know the tenses tenses there are completely three tenses present past future and each of these tenses is uh, categorized again into simple format simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous so completely three categories and three again further divided into four so complete 12 tenses you need to know the format all these 12 sentences format you need to buy heart so only then it, it will be very easy for you to answer this question. If you look into the question, have been made, this is a passive voice format. No, had been made, this is past, past perfect in passive voice. So have made, present perfect, present perfect tense. Simply you can answer because I know you are tired. So I have made arrangements for you to stay in the guest house tonight. That's it. And moving to the next question so coming back to the next question second question we are given arranging the questions arranging the sentences in the right order so for th these questions the main technique is elimination elimination is the best technique for th these kind of questions so now let's see what elimination is see i had the car service just the previous day so i didn't expect what happened next so my wife stopped the car and asked me to check whether the sound had come from my wife and i were taking a road trip just as we crossed out of the state limits we heard a loud pop so if we observe here the fourth sentence just we as we crossed out of state limits we heard a loud pop after they had uh, heard the loud pop my uh, his wife stopped the car and asked to check where the sound had come from if you observe these two sentences there's a series sequence so the four four and two the second sentence should come after the fourth sentence because first they had heard the sound and then his wife asked to check where the sound had come from now four two should be the order four and two here we observe four two four five two so we can eliminate these two options definitely and now out of these two four two five these, these are common so all we need to do is three and one either one and three or three and one which sentence come first my wife and i were taking a road trip to the other side of the country i had the car service just the previous day so i didn't expect what happened next yeah first this is the first sentence so the option b is the right answer because they had their car service already previous day so only after the car service they started taking their road trip so the option B is the correct answer. So now moving on to the third question. There is a fill in the blank given. He likes to show blank his wealth. If you observe, uh, it seems to be like uh, he wants to expose his wealth or he wants to disclose all his wealth. Like uh, blanks are given. Option A off, show off, show with. Show with health, uh, show with wealth doesn't uh, sound correct. So show down health, down his wealth. Does anybody want to show down their wealth? This uh, doesn't sound correct. So two options are left. Show off and show up. If you observe, show off is a phrasal verb. Phrasal verb which means impressing others or try to impress. Intentionally impressing others. So definitely option A will be the correct one. He likes to show off his wealth. He wants to expose all his wealth. He wants to impress by showing his wealth. This is the correct answer. Moving on to the fourth question. Here we are given a sentence and we need to find the error. 
So a sentence is broken into four different parts and we need to find the part of the sentence in which the error is hidden. If you observe, when will you stop? There is no error, I think, in this. When will you stop blaming everyone else? This sounds correct. And start take responsibility for your actions. For your actions is correct. So definitely you guys can easily find out the error is in option B and start take responsibility. This sounds odd, but if you guys are asked to correct it, the right answer will be start taking responsibility. So we need to use uh, continuous form. And also there is an alternative form, start to take. Both of these are correct. If you are asked to correct it, when will you stop blaming everyone else and start taking responsibility is the right sentence and option B is the correct answer. Moving on, moving on to the next one. There's a fill in the blank with the to film with the most suitable option. I am of the same routine every day. I am blank. Blank is given here. So if you observe the option, I am angry of the same routine day. It, this doesn't seem right answer. I am innocent. Definitely this is the wrong. So we can eliminate option B and D. Out of A and C, these two options, we can observe that. I am exhausted of the same routine every day. This sounds good. Okay. I am tired of the same routine day. Routine every day. See both of uh, these options seem to be correct, but if you observe the meaning of individual words, exhausted means completely used up. Like uh, I'm exhausted, I'm done with all my energy, I can't work anymore. Like uh, if uh, this gives such a meaning, so we can simply go with I'm tired. So I'm tired of the same routine every day. Option C is the correct answer. And sixth question here. There is a blank given. By the time the instructions were announced, the students blanked the question papers. See, by the time the instructions were announced, already the students had seen, has seen, see, seen. See, if you observe, the students see, this is a definitely wrong answer simply because present tense. The question was in the past tense, so option B we can eliminate. And the students seen wrong because this is grammatically incorrect because the students seen is wrong. The students saw should be there like V2 form. If you want to use a V3 form, definitely as or have in present tense had in past tense should be used. So option B and C are wrong. So out of A and C, one should be the correct answer. By the time the instructions were announced, the student had seen is the correct answer because it's in past tense so this is present perfect this is past perfect past perfect should be used here and the seventh question we need to find the error in the part of the sentence if you observe the sentence is the is the medicine you suggested also effective against body ache okay and is the medicine is the medicine okay this is the question tag this is completely right no grammatical error in this you suggested fine with it also effective against the against the body ache if you observe option a should be the right answer because against the body ache there is no, nothing wrong in this sentence but if you want to correct the sentence is the medicine you suggested is also effective he should be also used here inserted here option a is the correct answer and eighth question mark the option which is the closest to the meaning of the word given like uh, synonym invert you already know that i think you guys uh, know the answer invert reply wrong invert insert wrong invert call invert means reverse for example this is some shape this is a triangle what is an inverted triangle this is an inverted triangle so invert means reverse is the right option Moving on to the next question, ninth. Well, ninth one here, we need to rearrange the sentences to give the right order. Okay. I hope you guys uh, pass the video and read out these three sentences. Then I'll be start starting explaining the answer. I think you guys are done. Okay. Now let's eliminate our options. Elimination method. Elimination method. If you observe these three sentences, the last sentence he took the cash ran quickly i think 
a sentence cannot start directly with a pronoun uh, we don't know who he is directly it started with he took the cash so i can easily remove this sentence option a okay so option a is eliminated and the sentence might start may start with option one or two we need to select that at the time of crime i was exiting this is exiting not existing from the movie theater when i saw the accused pointing a gun at the cashier i had seen the accused before in the driveway of the mall in the in fact so easily we, one can decide that the sentence is going to start with option um, two so i can easily eliminate option c also now the question is to find one three or three one which follows which but i hope you guys uh, might have noticed a small clue here i had seen him at the previous instance he threw the bag of cash in the same car i had seen him at the previous instance the previous instance should be i had seen the accused before in the driveway of the mall now easily uh, i think you have got the point option 3 follows option 1 so b is the right answer option b will be the correct one and following the we have the 10th question we need to find the closest meaning the word is muzzle and if you observe the options arrest banish banish mean expelling someone or dismissing or send out from a particular country this gives a that meaning and hug you know stop from speaking now muzzle actually means that you uh, know from for some animals we will be observing that their mouth or nose is covered mouth or nose is covered to prevent from biting or eating so animals are covered with a guard which is called the muzzle so now we can easily say option b is the correct answer stop from speaking is the wrong option because we basically use this word in related to animals so animals anyhow can't speak so we muzzle animals to so muzzle meaning arrest or stopping or banning ban stop this gives the meaning and choose the best replacement for the underlined part of the sentence okay this is the sentence but the underlined is missing it's this part okay now i appreciated the delegation and this is the underlined part for themselves going into the field and collecting data to ensure maximum accuracy so now we observe that there is a delegation team delegation team actually they are going to the field they, uh, on their own and collecting data because they want the data to be very accurate so they themselves are going to the field so now if you observe the option for themselves going into the field wrong for going themselves this uh, sounds completely wrong grammatically and both meaningfully it's no meaning themselves for going on to the field meaningless for going into the field themselves see they went to the fields themselves on on their own this game meaning on their own which actually means okay 12th question here two blanks are given we need to fill with the suitable one efficient way to solve blank case would be to investigate at the site but unfortunately it was set on fire last night okay here we are given two articles you know articles are divided into two types definite and indefinite and definite article only the comes in definite article a and are indefinite articles okay this is clear but when to use definite if something we are point uh, specifically pointing to something we need to use the and uh, there are uh, some other rules for using the let's uh, just focus on basic part of these articles and a used used for non consonant sounds and is used for vowel sounds okay now if you observe efficient sound this sounds starts with a oval sound so an efficient the efficient way because uh, we can't use the efficient because uh, here we are not particularly focusing an efficient way one efficient way to solve here we need to use the case because the case is particular already the case is fixed here we can't use to solve a case or to solve an case here we need to use an and the option c is the right answer 
i hope you guys are clear with what i, I was saying so far moving on which of the following closest meaning to the given word okay sure shot see even though you don't know the answer just observe the options and try to find out the answer talented dead certain dangerous but if you clearly observe the question the word sure sure is a part of it sure shot sure gives the meaning certain simply you can take the answer as c sure particular uh, definitely or certainly it gives the meaning for sure here comes our last question guys and after completion of uh, this video subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon and i will be posting more interesting content okay coming to the 14th question we need to replace the underlined part underlined part is this one okay samuel's contribution is often ignored but the new boss has taken note of his hard work if for uh, the first step is to detect the sent, uh, tense of the sentence the new boss has taken so present perfect this is in present perfect and samuel contribution is often ignored this is in passive voice present tense but so actually the sentence mean to say that uh, often the samuel contribution was ignored in the past but now the new boss has recognized his talent or hard work so here this is in present but what we need to say is in the in the past his contribution or his hard work was not recognized it was ignored so option d will be the right answer before that i will be telling you why to ignore all these options because often he is ignored this is wrong because of present tense is used we need the past passive form past tense in passive form past tense passive form is frequently is ignored it is also in present tense was being ignored being should be used in continuous form this is in simple present simple present passive voice so the format is was or were plus v3 plus object object sorry object comes first in passive voice object comes first and at last subject was or were plus helping verb plus v3 Okay guys thank you so much for watching my video